A major change to Indiana law, a felony arrest in the Hoosier state will soon mean entering your DNA into the CODIS database. We thank you for staying with us at 530. I'm Rachel Platt. And I'm Doug Profit. Now, this new law is going to take effect January 1st, despite ongoing criticism about it. Our Kayla Moody is following your mixed reactions to this new process and what it's all about. Kayla? Doug and Rachel, this law was sponsored by State Senator Aaron Houchin of Salem and passed by a large margin in the Republican-controlled House and Senate. Under current Indiana law, only those convicted of a felony have their DNA profile entered into that DNA database known as CODIS. The new law allows for anyone arrested for a felony to get swamped. It's a new Indiana law that will create a dramatically larger pool of DNA profiles in CODIS. Beginning in January, the state will collect DNA from every person booked into jail on a felony charge. Clark County Prosecutor Jeremy Mull calls it good public policy. I think you're going to start seeing a much higher success rate in getting matches. Um, and I can't wait to see uh, this happen. I think a lot more victims are going to get justice. The DNA will be entered into the DNA database after a judge determines police have probable cause to make an arrest. Marguerite Thomas of the Center for Women and Families says gathering more DNA is a good thing. That is, if it leads to more cases getting prosecuted. Clearly, the more samples in CODIS, the greater the chances the perpetrator will be identified. So from that perspective, when and if a case is prosecuted that can help a victim have closure and start to begin the healing process. But with thousands of untested rape kits sitting on evidence shelves across the country, Thomas is skeptical. If all the other corresponding pieces of the puzzle go together, then it's a, a very good thing to provide because um, it will provide some closure to some victims. But if it results in just more untested rape kits sitting on a shelf, then we haven't gotten anywhere. The law is getting plenty of pushback from the public, with much of the criticism echoing the concerns raised by both Republican and Democrat lawmakers last spring, saying the law trudges on Hoosiers' Fourth Amendment rights. And we asked you on our Facebook page, do you agree with this new law? Posting to Facebook, Carrie Crabtree writes, people are presumed innocent until proven guilty. Simply getting arrested for a felony does not mean that person is a felon. I like the previous version where only convicted felons got added to the system. It's an invasion, she says. And Aaron Tall Redenauer says, put everyone in the system, and then they'd be able to catch more criminals when DNA is found at crime scenes. If your DNA is not found, you don't have to worry about getting accused. Rachel and Doug.